Charlie here from Novak, taking a quick look at the all-new Pit Wizard Plus. Uh, this will work with any of the Novak Super Tuner Plus speed controls. Right now, that is only the Active 8, with many more to follow. Um, you see the startup screen there, and we get to our first screen, which is the Pit Wizard Temp, and uh, nothing happens until you press Enter. That'll get you actually into the screens, and you can scroll through the menu using the up or down, use the back, obviously, to exit out of a menu. Um, We'll just go up and take a look here. You can see that all the settings for the most part are in exactly the same order as they are on the speed control. The one difference being the timing value. Uh, the onboard program when we do tens and ones with this, you just get the normal value. The other nice feature is that when you get down to the on-off features, some folks have a hard time remembering if one is on, two or off. Uh, it says right on the screen for you. So you can select that nice and easily there. Uh, go through BEC voltage. Uh, timing on and off, counter rotation, the reverse on and off, and then the speed control temperature. So you can actually look what the ambience temperature of the speed control is, as well as battery voltage and the temperature history, which is a little bit of the data logging that it has. You go in there and you can actually cycle through the save points to see what the temperature changes have been in the speed control. Carry on through the menus. Last one is the input signal, and this will actually show you the throttle output from your radio. So if you have anything going on with drag brake, you can check that as well. Get to the save screen, you push that. Ask you to wait, please, and then it'll exit out. If you have any questions about anything you've seen here, feel free to shoot me an email, tech at teamnovac.com, or check it out at teamnovac.com. Thanks a lot, everyone.